American Fiction, out now in movie theaters, a 2003 movie, but still available in theaters. It is a comedy drama, and it is based off of the book from 2001, Erasure. And the film follows a very frustrated, interesting professor and novelist who winds up writing this crazy book to sort of please the public. It's not what he would do. And it was solely written for satirical purposes. He did not do it because he believed in it. It used every um, stereotype under the moon. And it winds up getting rave reviews by the public and critics and winds up getting a movie deal. And the film takes you through that black experience as a writer and what the public sees as their stories. You know what I mean? And when I say the public, I mean white people. And it's so well done. I will tell you that it delivers on that level of thought provoking realness. But what I want to make sure everyone understands going into this film, that is a piece of the film. The film itself has this larger dynamic, a family d dynamic. So it, we, we have the societal piece, but there is this larger family dynamic that goes on between him and his family. There's also some love story in there, which is, you know, kind of a nice balance of things. And um, it stars Jeffrey Wright, Tracy Ellis Ross, Issa Rae, Sterling K. Brown, and a slew of other actors that are phenomenal. There's nobody in this film that is bad. Everybody's got the chops. The way that they are able to weave these storylines throughout the film is really great. Jeffrey Wright is amazing he is outstanding he deserves all of the the highlights that he's getting for his career but i will tell you that sterling k brown in this film is marvelous and now he was given a character that just happens to have some marvelous writing behind them but he delivers it so well and believable and it's an approach that I haven't seen Sterling K. Brown do before. So I was very happy to see that. Overall, this is a four out of five star film. I, I was really digging it. I think you will walk away feeling as I did, which is wow. And also feel good. There is comedy. There is lightheartedness to a very serious subject matter. But it's well done. So kudos to the filmmakers on this one. It is definitely up there in some of my favorite films of 2023. It is a 2023 film, but check it out if you can. You will not be disappointed. Four out of five stars.